Hi, I'm Bill Miles, photographer, director, and creator of Visual Media Mastery. This is the place to be if you're an entrepreneur looking to level up your video, live casts, and photography for greater engagement and conversions. So today we're going to talk about the importance of a personal brand library for your business. Now, if you are an online entrepreneur, you already know that your personal brand image is super important to how people engage with you and convert when you're involved in social media or sales pages and so forth. And I want to tell you that a lot of people, when they're getting started, have what they perceive as an immediate need, right? They're getting the website going or they have a particular launch and they realize they need a new photograph for that. I want to tell you to think about it differently and think that you need a library of images that you can call upon for all kinds of needs that you're going to have coming up. Because when you get started, you may think you have one need, but as you go on, needs are going to grow. You're going to need images for, yes, your website, but you're going to eventually develop new pages in your website and you need pictures for those. Social media. Right? You're going to need pictures for Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all kinds of things that you're going to be doing on social media. If you have a blog, you need pictures for that or a vlog. You need video assets for that. If you are creating sales pages and landing pages about some of your content or your products, you're going to need pictures for those as well. And another one that people don't think about are the opportunities that come up. Maybe it's for a podcast interview or to be part of a summit or something. And those people you're collaborating with want images, fresh images of you. And you need to have pictures to provide to them. So the importance of a library of images really can't be overstated, right? you're going to find that it will elevate the perception of your brand in the marketplace when you have a bunch of images that are uh, very consistent in flavor, that reflect your personality, your voice, your identity, right, in a very consistent way. They can be many different pictures, but they all have the same flavor. And that's going to provide consistency when people see your content. And that's super important. That's what the pros know. They all have kind of a consistent look, even though they may vary it up and some is well-produced and some is very informal and casual. There's a certain aesthetic. I look at uh, Chris Carr, for example, and she's got a very vibrant personality, if you know her, and she has like this bubbly voice and she can also get serious and she does some meditation pieces and so forth, but there's always a freshness and a sparkle in her visual assets that she uses that helps reinforce the content that she's putting out there. So one of the objections that people have about investing in a brand shoot is that they think it's a lot of money. And it is a big investment, but you realize that over time, the value you get out of all these images, uh, you can amortize that over a course of a year or sometimes even two years. And you, the, the, the cost, the effective cost of doing that shoot becomes very, very small compared to the return you get. So you have all these images that you can use and when you start using them for social media and because you have more assets to use, you'll actually create more social media. When you see higher conversions with your sales pages and with your interviews and so forth, you'll realize that the return is coming in on the investment you made. In my opinion, and of course I'm biased, I'm a photographer and videographer, but a personal brand library shoot is one of the most important investments you can make in your business. Yes, it does take some money up front, but it pays off many, many times over with your brand. So now that you know how emphatic I am about the importance of a personal brand library shoot for your business, uh, I want to give you tips on how to get the most out of your next shoot. So I've created a little mini series of training. It's a series of videos just like this that you'll be getting over the next few weeks. They're going to break down some of the key things to think about during your next brand shoot so you can get the most value out of it. We'll talk about how you can show up better in front of the camera and become more comfortable and more full and more confident so that you project that to your audience. And then we're going to talk about how you can get more out of your shoot by thinking bigger, thinking beyond your immediate needs and how to repurpose content. And then lastly, we're going to talk about how you can find a photographer because that's one of the big hurdles people have is, I know I need a shoot, but I don't know how to find a photographer. So I'm going to give you some guidelines and resources for finding and vetting a photographer that's right for you. So I hope this has been helpful, kind of keys you into the importance of a library shoot, and we'll talk to you in the next video.